welcome welcome back we're moving with texas all water fishing it's been a while since i've been to kayak launching at 61st street right here in galveston myself billy way ragnar cody dunn we decided to do a little kayak fishing so wish me luck thanks for coming back please make sure you stay safe out there keep your buffs masks face shield whatever you can find just keep you and your family safe especially during this time see some birds over here working a little bit let me see not too sure what they're working on and what they're doing i'm gonna bust them up and hopefully we'll catch what they're hitting on over here put some mccoy line on here 15 pound test Gonna try that out today. Hopefully we can find some, find some fish. They just hollered out big jacks. So let's see if we can catch one of these guys. Someone, something just went across the bank right there. It looks like that jackfish just skipped over all of us. Looked like he was in this corner over here, gorging on um, gorging on a bunch of bait bait fish that are over here. It's only a couple feet deep. Cody said he kind of zigzagged around in front of him and then hit the hit the bank and then ran that way. I saw the weight that he threw up on the bank. It was a it was a big fish. So we went up and down the shoreline and all around looking for the jacks and we never found them again. We didn't find any fish at all. We cast and worked the area for about an hour, hour and a half. The winds picked up a little bit and we decided to get out of there and go get the boat. Now, a kind of funny thing happened on the way to the boat ramp with the boat. What just happened? You don't know? I told you. Holy crap! Your boats are on. I was told we we heard it, and I said pull over, pull over, and then he scooted up another five feet, and then it fell off. What the? The yeah, just sheared off. Out. Yep. Okay, sure. Well, it took a little doing, but the guys were able to get the uh, tire back on the trailer. We were able to get on the water, and well, unfortunately, I left my batteries in the truck, so you're gonna have to hear a little voiceover. Sorry, guys. Cody over here working some voodoo shrimp around these houses in this channel. Hooked up to a nice speckled trout. Very respectable speckler. Man, that Inger bait voodoo shrimp, it's no joke. It's the heck of a bait. Cody trying to handle this fish. Come on, Caleb, Cody. Get it together. First fish of the day for any of us. And Cody has a handle on it. There we go. Nice speckled trout. Now I just want to freeze frame right here. Cody said, hey, I bet there's a flounder right over in the corner. And he cast over me and hooked up. I can't believe it. He pot licked my flounder. There it goes. Nice flatty. Man, look at the guy. He is very green, very active. Come on, Cody. Grab it. What are you doing, Cody? Yeah, he caught that on 
that anger bait voodoo shrimp as well <laughs> he can't get a hold of it I thought I was at to step on it for him so he could hold it there it goes that's a little sweet spot right there nice place to hold a flounder yeah Cody two fish on me and Billy Ray zero Cody hooked into some hooked into a cast net so we get his hook out of there and we'll get that cast net out of there anytime we come around any trash or debris like that we'll remove it get it keep it out of our waterways Sorry, got a plane flying over me if you can hear that. But yeah, monofilament takes about 600 years for it to break down. So we definitely need to get that out of there, especially being a net. We don't want to get any fish or crabs or anything, that, any kind of wildlife stuck in that, let alone uh, someone's prop. It's a prop killer right there. So we'll get that out and take it with us. Billy Ray had a little bit of an accident. His line got stuck in his trolley motor. Almost ripping his thumbs off. Pulled the rod in the water. And uh, broke the tip of the rod. You can see right there. It's a little shorter than the way he started the day off. Poor guy. I know he really tore his thumbs up. Yeah, there it is. Tip of the rod wrapped up in the line. Some people are on the balcony and they got a good chuckle at it that are watching us fish. <laughs> it's always fun with these guys for sure. And then I did it. I finally hooked up to a fish. Oh my gosh. It has been a long time coming. Hooked up to this speckle trout. I was scared to lose him. He felt pretty heavy, so I had Cody get my float net, and yep, got him on that saltwater assassin lime truce. Man, I was so amped, so stoked. You know, I didn't catch a, I didn't catch any fish. That was my only fish today. My only real bite. Had a couple little small little nips, but yeah, I was pretty stoked to be hooking up. There it is, right there. Trout. That's right. <laughs> it's my little baby trout dance. Super stoked. Think he ended up being around 18 inches. Nice meaty guy. He went home for dinner for Cody and his family. Yep. No skunk for me today, guys. Put him on ice. But that's going to do it. You know, that was it for us. It was kind of an interesting day. I took the guys out. First time we all kayaked together. That was actually Cody's first time on a kayak. Yeah, don't do that, Cody. <laughs> He's a pole dancer. But yeah, it was a very interesting day, to say the least. We all had a good time. Always a good time with these guys. We were able to fix up the trailer, fix the tire up. And I'm just glad no one got hurt and all that. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification to let you know the next time I upload a video. Don't forget to check out Saltwater Soul. Check out their apparel. They always got some really cool stuff out there. And don't forget to check us out on Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol, YouTube, and Instagram, as well as Facebook. But until next time, I hope you all stay safe. And hope next time you catch me hooking up.